Most of our readers will probably know you from your role as the illustrious Ida Blankenship from AMC's Mad Men. And I'd like to perhaps ask you a couple questions about her um, a little bit later. But first, um, before then, you had the distinct honor of becoming America's first recurring lesbian character in the TV show Soap. Um, if you could, for a moment, put yourself back to 1979 in the second season. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. It's like 35 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> That's a blank. But I do remember a few things about that that were kind of interesting. Yeah, to go. Please because say. I was the first lesbian on television, they did everything to make me not like a lesbian. I mean, as far as my hair was an issue because... At that time, perms were very big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember those big perms? Yeah. So, you know, they hired me with the perm, you know. <laughs> I, they probably thought it was my natural hair. So uh, there was a day where it was such an issue that they wanted to straighten my hair because they were so concerned about Alice's appearance mm -hmm. that... And because she was the first homosexual, that she can't be too out there like a perm was out there. You know, like too hip or too much like a rock star. Whatever they attributed oh, to a perm. So they spent the day straightening my hair. And I, you know, I wasn't, uh, you know, I was a kid and I was just in show business out here and I spent all this money on this perm and they were straightening my hair. It was just ridiculous. But that's the way it was in those days. I mean, they were so afraid and but yet they were so forward and so brave, you know, but they were worried about their sponsors. So I remember that, which was very funny. And, and then when I had my date, uh, and I can't remember the actress's name right now. Right, it's in the picture in the article. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't remember her name. She was a wonderful actress. And I went to kiss her in rehearsals, and they said, "No, no, 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 you can't do that." I said, "But she's my girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't do that. We just cannot do that. So it was so careful and so delicate. Mm -hmm. in those days, you know, uh, that you couldn't really do your thing. So you were limited. So they wanted you to appear normal. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even say that word normal as, as if to say that homosexuals aren't normal. They wanted me to be uh, a heterosexual homosexual. I don't know. <laughs> they wanted to be made to appear very straight and, and very middle of the road, mm -hmm. very so that America could digest this and and not be offended in any way by i don't know her appearance or to make her look less more accessible or something i see you know? so i they... was like 30 31 32 years old it's a long time ago but that's what i remember that stood out more than anything and i know that billy was you know grappling with this issue too as an actor and you know uh he, he was in a, a bit of a quandary, too, playing this character. Did you get any sort of negative reception or feedback, or did you make any headlines? Do you know what's the funniest thing? I wasn't aware of how offensive these, uh, you know, and I use that in quotes, these characters were to so many groups. It wasn't until like 20, 25 years later when I wikipedia myself, and I saw the <laughs> negative reaction to the character. I had no idea. No idea. Because I don't read reviews, and I try to stay away from all that stuff because it's too upsetting. So I didn't, I wasn't aware that mm -hmm. she wasn't well received by even the gay, you know, the gay lesbian. They didn't call it, you know, um, gay and lesbian, transsexual, what, you know. Right. LGBT. Uh, what is it, L? LGBTQ, LGBTQ, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was just, you know, gay and lesbian. Right. And I had no idea that, you know, that they were pissed off as well because they thought she was portrayed too negatively, mm -hmm. you know, with such a doomsday attitude. Well, that was the and, view of the groups, <clears throat> but you did, yeah. you did touch, yeah. um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> 
frog in my throat. You did touch a lot of um, people's lives individually. I, yeah, I think so. I, I hope so. I mean, I've run into people that said, oh, like, you know, thank God they had your character and it really helped me. And, yeah. Oh, really? But I, was, yes, yes, yeah. I mean, again, 35 years ago, long time ago. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Lifetime ago. You probably weren't even born yet, right? <laughs> so were you so, aware that you would be the first recurring homosexual actor on TV? Homosexual well, female I, actor? When I got the role, I, I, I was tentative in accepting it, not because I had any issues with that, um, homo, you know, with uh, sexuality. Right. But I was worried that it would limit a career that hadn't even started yet. <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> I came out from New York and I was a in musical comedies in New York, and then I got cast in a movie called Fast. Is that the first thing? Fast Break, I think, or no, it was another series called Husbands, Wives, and Lovers. Mm. And I came out here, and um, you know, it's like the second thing I did, the third thing I did. So I was concerned that it would be an issue in right. my career that they would keep casting me or pin a, pigeonholing me. You know? mm-hmm. And so. And I spoke to a few people, you know, who are uh, further along in their careers. And then I just said, oh, the hell with it. This is a great role and it's fun. And I get to be on this fabulous show that's doing things that no other show had the guts to do. And I want to just do it and see what happens. What did they tell you when you were about ready to part the show? I don't remember. You mean like when they got rid of me? Yeah. Did you know ahead Uh, of time that that was going to happen? Sorry, I, I can't <laughs> okay. remember that much. I don't remember. I really, I don't remember if Billy was going through some stuff, wanting to get. I don't know. I don't remember. I, okay. I don't want to give you false information. Right, right, right. I just I wondered mean, if I you did like about nine episodes, and you know, I was happy to be on the, because at that time, you know, it was sort of like Batman in that. You know, you would do maybe half a season, or mm-hmm. you were lucky mm-hmm. to do a season, and you know, then the, they changed the storyline. Right. So I didn't take it. I didn't realize until maybe a year or two later when they canceled the show and they got all that backlash from Jerry Falwell. You know that I, I said, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> problem." Well, I just I I mean I don't know specifically that that was the reason, but I imagine. I that see. they got so much stuff from that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That being one of the groups, you know, the conservative groups, and maybe they started losing their uh, sponsors. I, you know, I, I never really found out. Right. I went on to do other things in my life. I was a mother, you know, and I was working, and, mm-hmm. and it didn't stop me. I didn't pay attention. Mm-hmm. But I knew that politically it was a problem. Mm-hmm. And, and it's so weird because here it is binding us in the back again, you know, and uh, the stereotypes. And so shifting back to the mid sixties, um, mm-hmm. narratively speaking, um, now you're playing Ida Blankenship. Are you thinking back at this time of your life um, when you're trying to come up with well, that waiting, character? You know, I don't want to spoil it to people that aren't caught up, but I'm no longer on that. Then you know that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. But I don't want to do these spoilers because it's so cute how people are still tweeting about her because they're catching up. They're catching up. Oh, no, I had a blanket ship. Um, did I... Um, where, in other words, where did Ida back? come from? I, where did she come from? Yes. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I swear she inhabited me. I, um, one day on the set, I just felt the spirit come into my body. <laughs> it was very strange. I know that sounds very silly, but um, I did. <laughs> no, not at all. Did you thicken your accent? She was, pardon me? Did you thicken your accent? Yeah. Yeah, I was told to really slam it hard. Oh, <laughs> really? You know, it wasn't hard for me to do it. I went, oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. But they aged me up a lot, and... Um, it, it was a lot of fun because it was a transformation. Mm-hmm. It was really transformative in, in a lot of ways and, and uh, something that, 
you know, many uh, creative producer slash writer, director, everything that Matthew is. He really took a chance because I didn't look anything like the character, and he and he said, I think you can do this. Could we make her look like S H I T? That you can say that in the article. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they did, and it was great fun. <laughs> So if you could channel Miss Blankenship for a moment and you could tell anything to all of those fans who are just catching up now or all the people who've tweeted about how she was called an astronaut in her eulogy, what do you think you would say? Or what would she say? I am so happy that I made so many people laugh. That, that gives me the biggest thrill. Mm. So keep laughing. Best medicine, best thing. And uh, apparently a lot of people got a real big kick out of her. So I was thrilled. If I were to channel Miss Blankenship, I would say, get off the pot! I don't know. (laughs) 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 Oh my God, some of the things I have to say were just outrageous. (laughs) Yeah, I heard, I read an interview um, with you about the racist joke. Oh, that was very hard for me. You read that in the script and you thought, really hard for me say that. Thank God they did a great job of cutting away on that one. They didn't hit hard on that mm-hmm. one. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 you know, the anti-feminism, the, the women's movement, the racism, everything was just so awful at that time. You know, and being a woman, I, I had actually worked on Madison Avenue between um, dropping out of college for a while. I went back and then working on Madison Avenue. It was everything that you see in Madison and more, and it was just not a great time for women, Hmm. or black, or homosexual, (laughs) or, you know. So uh, we've come a long way, you know, but not not far enough, Mm -hmm. not very far enough, Mm -hmm. you know, and I'm I'm afraid that the country's going backwards. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very frightening to me. I'm getting all serious now. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I played two very uh, iconic kind of roles. You know, I was very fortunate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were the mother in the Karate Kid movies. Oh, right, right. I forgot about that. You forgot about <laughs> three that. <laughs> three iconic roles. Yeah, I got. I was lucky. I was very lucky. That was a lot. That was terrific. Yes. That was so much fun.